Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is Wild Mountain Blueberry by Green Mountain. Just a grocery store brand. And it's pretty good. So today is going to be 41 degrees. It's very cloudy. Potential for rain. But that's the winter for you. Here usually it's a potential for snow, but so far it's been a very mild winter. Knock on wood. So today I'm excited because I'm going to have my new TV mounted <clears throat> on the wall. And my grandson's dad is going to be coming over, and my grandson got a new TV a while back, too, when I got my new TV. And um, his dad is going to mount his new TV on the wall in his space, and then he's going to put my TV up, too. So I'm excited about that. At least we're making steps forward, which is always a good thing. So, one of the rooms that I really like to keep neat and tidy is my living room and also my kitchen most of the time. Now, I have a lot of kitchen appliances and, you know, knives and, and cooking utensils that I like to keep out on the counter because I don't want to constantly be lifting appliances. I have my mixer out. I have, <laughs> I do have a lot of appliances out, but it's okay, you know, I use them. So rather than putting them away each time, um, I just keep them on the counter. And I still have enough counter space where I have room to work. So that's my main objective. And I like to keep some of my spices out. I like to keep my oils and vinegars out. And um, that's just the way I like my kitchen. Um, my kitchen is very well loved and very well used. And whenever we have holidays, even though I do have the living room and the dining room available with a table, everybody crams around my little round kitchen table and I love it. So we just all want to be together huddled up in, in a mass of family, which is great. So anyway, I'm going to be winding down my beautiful Christmas mugs soon. I thought I would leave them available all week. I like to keep my Christmas decorations up until after New Year, and I don't put them up real early in December usually either. So I have about a couple weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks of Christmas decor up. And then I get to the point where, okay, it's looking like clutter to me. So then I, I put it away till next year. So this is the little snowman mug my daughter got me for Christmas, and I just love it. I think it is so cute. We got it down in Amish country. And I think it was like $10. I was with her when she bought it. And she said, Mom, I'm giving you this for Christmas. And that's that. So, so cheers. Ah, very good. Back to my chocolate creamer. My grandson opened it up yesterday for his coffee. So I'll still be using my other creamer up too, but... Back to my favorite. And the chocolate creamer from Walmart, I know most of you that have been with me for a while know about this, but this is every bit as good as the International Delight, in my opinion. And it's a good dollar or so cheaper. And I get this all the time. I've been using it for years. It's the great value brand. So, you know, a lot of times with generic brands, a lot of the companies that make the name brands also make gener the generic brands because we only have so many companies that produce certain foods. So sometimes the name brands are just as good 
or the um, generic brands are just as good as the name brands, in my opinion. So I'm going to be working a little bit more on trying to get the bedroom ready for my mom after she has her surgery on, on the 10th of January. So uh, I need to get a space ready for her here, even if she doesn't need to stay here for more than a couple days. Um, I want to get that space ready for her. So I'll be sleeping on my day bed in the living room with my dogs. And I'll give my mom my bedroom as long as she needs it because I have a bathroom right off the bedroom. And you know, sometimes we older ladies, we need to wake up at night and do what it is we need to do. And then we go back to bed. So I want to make it as safe as possible. And to have her stay down here with the dogs is not the best idea because I need to supervise my dogs around my mom because they get so excited to see her and I don't want them knocking her over like they knocked me over about seven years ago and I broke my hip. So I don't want that happening to her at 94. That would just be a disaster. So uh, we have to make adjustments with that too. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee this morning. I'm cold. It's, it's just real, real damp outside. Everything is all wet from all the rain we've had. And it's been a light rain. It hasn't been torrential downpours, but it's enough to keep everything wet and damp and cold. So anyway, that's our weather here. And I hope you're having decent weather where you are. So I, I hear uh, California had some really huge waves happening out there. Wow, California really gets blasted a lot with fires and earthquakes and, you know, other things. So I don't know. I know it's a beautiful state, but uh, hats off to those of you that have to put, off, put uh, up with all these um, natural disasters that happen out there. We actually have a fault here in Ohio as well, but in all the years I've lived here, uh, I've only experienced a quake once. And I was at my mom's, and I was in the kitchen, and it sounded like a, a semi or a train rolling by. It just rumbled and rumbled. It, it was so unusual. It's like, what the heck is that? You know, it, I wanted to go look and see what was in the driveway. And then I realized, oh my gosh, we just had an earthquake. So uh, anyway, there's faults all over the world. But, you know, I know California is on a big, big, big fault. So anyway... Enough about earthquakes. Let's just hope we don't have any of those types of disasters anytime soon. And I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and then I will meet you at the budget book. All right, here we are back at my budget book, my oh-so-red December budget book. Yesterday I did not spend any money. So, Happy New Year's Eve to everyone, and I wish you all much abundance in the new year. Now in Germany, we have sauerkraut and pork for New Year's. They're supposed to bring good luck. Well, I don't eat pork, but I did buy some sauerkraut a while back for um, like hot dogs. So I have some vegetarian, I think they're Beyond Sausage, they're brats. So I will have those tonight. You're supposed to have it at, you know, midnight and tomorrow. So I will have those and um, top them with some sauerkraut. So I usually have something in my freezer that's um, appropriate for whatever holiday is coming up. 
whether that's, you know, Christmas or Easter or um, New Year's. So, and don't forget, first new moon in January to write your check to the Law of Abundance. And I do have a video on that as well, somewhere in the archives. Um, the reason I never post things in the description box is because I do everything on my phone. It's easy on the computer to put links in your description box to things that you buy or talk about or anything like that. But it's very difficult to do, at least for me, on my phone. So if there's any contact, uh, con if there's any creators out there that know an easy way to do that on your phone, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I've done it before, but it's very labor intensive in my opinion. So that's why I don't do it. So I apologize, but you can always do a search. Um, you can search my videos by title, and I usually put uh, what the video is about in my title. So uh, there is, uh, actually I think I've done a couple of videos on writing checks to the Law of Abundance. So, and I can't remember exactly when the new moon is, but it's uh, sometime the beginning of January, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I'll be writing a new check for that, and then, of course, in January, it's going to be a very, very low spend month. I'm going to try my new strategy of, um, I probably won't grocery shop much at all. In January because I still have food from the holidays that I froze or is still good. Um, I have soup that I made. I have uh, leftovers that I can eat. So and I still have some produce. So I probably won't start shopping every week or two until February. I'm going to try and do January a uh, no shop. So we'll see how that goes. You know, I have plenty of creamer. I may need to get something for the dogs. But um, food-wise, I, I don't need much. So anyway, that is my status as of the end of December. And I'm going to work on paying off all my credit card bills, which I still have the microwave to pay for. Uh, my car, and that little loan that I have that's a thousand some dollars now. Um, now, when I took that loan out a couple years ago, I guess it was, it was a ten thousand dollar loan. So I've paid that off fairly quickly, and uh, I don't want to do that again. I want to be done with all the credit cards, and I want to be debt free. And because there's not a whole lot of things that I need anymore other than occasional food, things for my dogs. Um, and, you know, I'm sure there will be medical things coming up, not only for me, but also for my dogs, since we're all becoming seniors now. My dogs will be 10 this spring. And Lizzie, she'll, she's like nine months um younger so she'll be nine next December so she just had a birthday and I forget what day it was we didn't celebrate <laughs> oh I'm a bad dog mom anyway um, that's the status so I will be back in a little while I'm going to finish up my coffee and just sit and chill for a little bit collect my thoughts and uh, start formulating a plan for the upcoming year. All right, I'll be back. 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Candy Paul Day number 55 Exercise to Lift Your Spirits Walking requires little in the way of equipment or planning or physical conditioning, but it gives you the world. Ann H. Swigler. 
Enjoy the simple lift that exercise offers. God gave you a body that likes to be in motion, and there is exhilaration in traveling down a road with your own two feet, swinging your arms, and feeling the wind in your face. Exercise gives you a much needed break from sedentary activities. You feel more invigorated, think more clearly, and have greater zest for life. Exercise can also offer a simple way to meditate. As you get into the rhythm of movement, it clears your mind and helps you focus your thoughts. Try to get out and walk 20 minutes every day. Check out exercise options at your local YMCA or exercise club. Well, good morning. Time to finish up my coffee with you guys. So, cheers again. I like having coffee with you guys because I know you're out there. All right, well, a couple of you have said, we were talking about pets, and some of you have said you have cats. So I've had cats in the past, too. My dogs don't like cats, so that would not be a good environment, or I would have two cats. But anyway, um, I bought these actually on Amazon, not for the cats, although... My cats did scratch up things. You know, I still have remnants of, you know, claw marks in different places. And I actually got rid of uh, my one recliner chair because it was all, you know, looped up from kitty claws. But I have a, a little boy dog that sometimes likes to lift his leg on things, which is disgusting. So I have to sort of make it so that he can't get to the upholstered furniture. And actually, that was one reason why I threw out one of my recliners. Well, it kind of turned into the dog chair because Chloe, she loved to lay in that chair. And Bandit, he lifted his leg on the chair a couple times. And I have a steam cleaner that I used on it, but it, it, it just needed to go. But anyway, a while back, I bought these on Amazon to actually uh, put on the corner of my recliner that I threw out, but then I ended up throwing it out and never using it. But they have these anti-scratch tapes for all pets. So I still have these and I'm going to put these on the corners of my new chairs, but for a different reason other than cat claws. But apparently cats don't like the feel of that. Another solution that you might want to try is they make a, um, they make a product called Scat Mat, and, um, I've used those in the past to keep the dogs from going somewhere that they shouldn't, like, I don't know, just different places. But anyway, they use a 9-volt battery, and if they step on it or touch it, it gives off a little charge. Um, now, I know some people would say, oh, that's cruel, but it doesn't really hurt them, but it does deter them from, um, you know, doing things like that but <laughs> isn't that cute that's a cute photo but anyway it's got the instructions on the back and I'll show you what they look like and like I said I'm going to put these on my uh, new chairs now they have two sizes here it looks like they have um, this size and it's a peel and stick thing so they have this size and then they also have the bigger size which is this big which is what I'm going to use on the corner 
So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys that have cats. Like I said, I have never used this for cats. I don't know if it works, but they weren't very expensive. And it might be worth a try to, um, you know, keep your cats from scratching your furniture or your woodwork or whatever it is uh, they like to scratch. And a lot of times cats will find their favorite scratching furniture place. So um, even if you keep, uh, I used to keep the scratch posts available to them. But even so, you know, you can't be home 24-7 watching your cats. So sometimes we have to do other things. So... Um, Anyway, I have a list, of course, a mile long, which I know that I'm not going to complete. So I have to pick and choose what it is I want to do today. So I have to take down um, a couple of things off of my wall. And I'll show you that right now where the TV is going to go. What are you doing on Mama's chair? You know you're not supposed to be on there. Right? You don't care. It's comfy, huh? Okay, well, that cushion is washable, so it's all right. It won't ruin my chair, but you know you're going to have to get out of there when I want to sit in there. You know that, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, enjoy. Well, anyway, this is... Oops, sorry about the ring light. This is where my TV is going to go. So I have to take these down, at least this one down, because this will take up, it's a 55 inch TV, which is way bigger than this one. I think this is a 36, I don't even know. But anyway, the TV will be going right here above my desk. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my grow lights. I'm going to take this down and move my grow lights over here into the corner. And I'll find a new space for this somewhere. I don't know where. But anyway, that is my before corner. And yes, I'm a gnome nerd. So once the TV gets up there, we'll go to other projects to finish up this corner. All right. Well, the TV is up and everything else is in a pile. <laughs> so at least we got that done. But it's going to take another day to clean up this mess here and put everything back. We still have to hook up the TV. But it's a nice size television. My old TV is still there. But we had to find the stud. So we found that to make sure it doesn't fall down. So thank goodness that's up. And I hope the TV works. That would be a good thing. There's the last remnants of Christmas. Those will be starting to come down tomorrow or the next day. So making progress. There we have it. Okay, I went ahead and applied this to the corner of my chair. And this side is, both sides are sticky. And that's what the cats don't like. They don't like the sticky tape. So I imagine this is going to get full of hair eventually. So um, I'll be replacing that as needed. And I'll probably put some over on the other corner too. It's not the most attractive, but I've had this old dish drainer that I didn't really know what to do with sitting here now because he, he won't go close to that. And I don't want my new chair to get ruined. So that's how I keep, um, he doesn't do this all the time, just once in a while. If um, I don't know. Um, 
sometimes male dogs like to mark for whatever reason. So anyway, and over here on my other new chairs, I just keep a little ottoman right there. And it, you know, you can use it as a footstool. He doesn't go in there. He likes to pick a place that's kind of open. And he won't pee on the carpeting. So uh, he, he never pees on that. He just uses the floor. So anyway, I try and you know, get ahead of these problems as much as I can. Like I said, he doesn't do it all the time, but the potential is there. And um, we'll see. I don't know if it's because he's getting older and he can't hold his urine as long. But, um, I mean, for years he was fine. And then all of a sudden he started uh, this business. <clears throat> so anyway... Um, you know, you could give that a try. Like I said, I got it on Amazon, and I think you get 10 sheets all together. Uh, and you can cut them to size, whatever you want to do. I think you get five small ones and five larger ones. So, okay, I hope that's helpful to some people. Um, so, I'll be okay, right back. Okay, I wanted to share something else that I got for the pets. I guess this is the pet video. Anyway, um, there. I wish this phone had a remote that I could use to stop and start videos, but it doesn't, so I have to keep reaching to the button. So anyway, I got this on Amazon too, and it was not real expensive. Again, I don't remember the price. If I remember, I'll put it somewhere here. But anyway, my little Lizzie, as you all know, has a very big mouth. <laughs> she is the loudest darn dog for as small as she is. So I bought this, um, it's a bark collar. Now I have numerous bark collars in uh, the puppy stash back there. But the ones that I got before, they take a battery uh, and on top of that, they're, you know, they're bigger, so they're just way too big for such a little dog, and, you know, it's hanging there, so it's like, I, I couldn't use that, it was just too annoying, so I found this one on Amazon, and it says it's one of the smallest bark collars, and it is very small, it's very small, so, and it's not heavy. And you don't have to add a battery because you can recharge it. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know how effective it is. And it also comes with an adjustable collar. So um, I got that. I think it was 20 some dollars. And I used points that I had from other purchases. But anyway, um, I'll have to let you know if it works. But... All it does is beep and vibrate. It, it's not a shock collar. So she's too little for that, and I think she'd get really weird if I started using those. And I don't like shock collars a whole lot. So, um, so the way the collar works is you can set the sensitivity level, and I would start with the lowest setting, of course, and then up it if I needed to. But the first trigger, it, it goes in a cycle. Uh, the first trigger is two beeps. Then if the dog keeps barking, the second trigger is a two second beep and uh, a one and a half second vibration. The third trigger is a two second beep plus a two second vibration. And this of course if the dog keeps barking. The fourth trigger is two second beep and two uh, five second vibrations and the fifth trigger has a two second beep and a three second vibration. No, the one before that was, an, was a two and a half second vibration. I thought a five second vibration was kind of long. After five consecutive triggers, the collar enters a 30 second protection mode during which it won't be activated. After protection mode, it starts a new cycle 
if the dog stops barking for 30 seconds and then resumes, a new cycle will begin. So the problem with my little Lizzie is she does not follow the quiet command. Um, I tried to teach them that, but um, now Bandit, he's really good. He doesn't really bark a lot at all unless there's a dog or a cat or something out there that, or a person at the door, then he'll chime right in with Lizzie and Chloe. Now Lizzie uh, barks at everything. Uh, a leaf blowing by, somebody slamming a car door, so whatever, you know, her hearing must be super sensitive because she barks at everything, which is really annoying and then the most annoying thing is every time somebody comes in, if I have a guest, or even if my grandson comes up from the basement or downstairs or whatever it is, she barks and barks and barks and barks. She just will not shut up. So it's, it's really annoying and ridiculous. So um, I've tried all kinds of things. Uh, to break her of the habit, but she will not follow the quiet command. So that's why I'm going to resort to the bark collar and see how that works. Um, at least if she barks, I may get her to follow the quiet command. We'll see. I mean, you have to try different things now. I've been working with her the best thing i found is just a spray bottle with a stream of water that I will squirt at her if she doesn't stop barking and that she doesn't like that. So, and I had a trainer come to the house and she gave me the little squirt bottle and she said that's what to do. So that's what I do. Um, so that works fairly well, but if I'm not right there and don't have the spray bottle available, then, um, you know, now the trainer told me to put vinegar in the spray bottle. They don't like the smell of that, but I don't use vinegar. I'm always worried that I'll spray their eyes accidentally, so the water works okay. But like I said, I don't always have the squirt bottle on hand, so and she will not um, respond to a verbal command. She just like, Phew. so anyway, um, I mean, she she her recall is pretty good. You know, she will come if I call her, and uh, but uh, when it comes to the barking, she just carries on and on and on. To the point where I can't have a conversation, you know, with anybody while she's in that mode. So we'll see how that works. I don't know. I'll let you know um, if it's effective or not. But anyway, your dog is different than my dog. Your dog might respond to that. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. All right. Um be back. Well, all right, my friends, it was a busy day today. Um, I'm glad I got done what I got done, and I'll just keep plugging away at it. I have a very short list. Hello, my love. Hello. Can you say hello to the people? No, I want a hug from my mom, right? Yes. Oh, oh boy. Yes. All right. So anyway, <clears throat> I have a very short list of things to do. It's not real long, and I'm just going to keep plugging away at it until I get all the tasks done. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start working on a weekly list of things to do rather than... Um, a daily list of things to do because I never get through my daily tasks ever anymore. So I think it'll be a little less frustrating if I allow myself several days to get my tasks done. So I don't want to put more than five things on my weekly task list. 
So I'll work on each task a little bit every day until it's completed. And then the next week, if I don't get everything done, the first task or the last task on the list that I didn't get done will be going on to the next week's task list. Task list. And then I'll just keep doing that until everything is done for the week. So this week I have laundry to do, I have bathrooms to clean, I have bills to pay, and I keep forgetting to turn off my outside water. So far it hasn't been a disaster, but I don't want to take the chance that my pipes freeze, so I need to do that as well. So those are the things that are on my to-do list. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a list from Sunday to Sunday or Monday to Monday. You know, whenever I initiate the list, that'll be the beginning of the next week. So I'm going to give that a try and see if I can accomplish a little bit more and take the pressure off myself to, you've got to get this done today or you can't cross it off your list. So that's my new strategy. Um... To simplify my life, my home, everything. I want to work on simplifying everything because life comes along and gives you enough complications as it is. I don't have to add to it. So we'll see how that works. So that's one of my goals for the new year is to work a list that way. Pay off my bills. Simplify my home by downsizing and decluttering. And even that, I'm going to give myself leeway and enough time to get each zone done. I want to declutter in zones. So if I'm working on a closet, I'll continue to work on the closet until it's done. If it takes me a week, it takes me a week. If it takes me a month, it takes me a month. So even with my kitchen cupboards, I'll start with one cupboard and work on that for however many days it takes until I get everything decluttered. So that's going to be my new strategy and goal for 2024. And the other thing that I want to do, I got rid of a ton of my exercise equipment downstairs in my exercise room. The only thing I kept was my treadmill, my bike, um, an elliptical, and I think that's it. So I want to start using those things. And even if it's only 10 minutes a day, that's fine. And by the time springtime comes around, then I will be able to go walk outside, which I want to return to. I did it for years and years. I used to walk three miles a day. Well, I don't think I'll ever get up to three miles, but if I get up to one mile, that would be great. So, but I only want to work on one goal, one bigger goal a week. But I will try and get the exercise snuck in before I go sit in my chair in the afternoon because by then I'm shot. So, and I, I have to um, make peace with that, uh, get all my things done earlier in the day when I'm still feeling rested and not tired and my body doesn't hurt. So that's what I'm going to do. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.